Hello beautiful Aquarius. How are you today? Welcome everyone. Watchers, cross watchers. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. The overall energy for this reading Aquarius is abundance. Ooh, look at that. Is that not a terrific card? She's wearing a, a like a, she has a beautiful table set here. It's a full moon. It is the energy of the hunter moon. The harvest. Okay, so manifesting is what's on the agenda for you acceptance really accepting your partner for who they are enjoying them for just who they are and we have resistance so there's something in the circumstances of your love relationship that you're not happy with but you know life isn't perfect so we shall dig in with the clarifiers and see what we can see with that energy for you so I do want to offer everybody the chance to look at the comment sections if you are interested in a psychic reading, a tarot reading with me. Um, I have a special running for 25% off of telephone readings. So let's see what we have here for the overall energy that you are bringing in with your partner to this relationship reading. Aquarius, let's see. Hanged man, Pisces energy. So the Pisces energy says that you're looking at things from a different perspective. You're not in any kind of a hurry. You know, you're just hanging out there, seeking enlightenment, reading the signs. Good. Okay, so in the recent past, a mutual energy, oh, between you and your person, looks like you might have had an argument, some sort of disagreement. We have the Gemini energy, which is a communication, but it's being all up in your head, losing sleep. But, you know, we have a white dove here of peacefulness. So it does look like there's remorse, regret over something that was said or done. The mutual energy currently is Sagittarius energy. You both have fire in your belly for the relationship. It is your mutual energy at this time. It's, uh, you know, wanting to go the distance, having been to the war, and you're familiar with the challenges, but both of you, your person wants to work this through with you. That is uh, the uh, Capricorn energy of collaboration. You know, getting to, you know, just figuring things out together. Staying calm, cool, collected. It's Capricorn energy. It's a willingness to do the work. How they view you, Aquarius. They view you as a king of pentacles. Somebody who is very passionate, very loyal. The passion is the red library. Very knowledgeable, very intelligent, very calm very much someone who wants to go the distance stability energy it's taurus energy so it really speaks to the fact that your person sees that you're very comfortable uh, they also see you as a person who likes the creature comforts that that's an important part of your life and that you want stability you don't want anybody who's going to you know have a very profound energy that isn't positive so what do we see here in the heart space of your loved one, Aquarius? They love you, Pisces energy. Happily ever after. Pisces, Pisces, you might be dealing with a Pisces sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is a card of great joy, great happiness in their heart space. It's a very pure card. It's, it's only wanting to be married because you love somebody so deeply. How they view the situation, the two of you moving forward, you are both invested in this relationship. It's a card of patience, manifestation, taking inventory. This, your person, this is again Taurus energy. They really, they want to be in it to win it. They certainly want to manifest this relationship with you. We see the hidden energy between the two of you is the Ten of Wands. Okay. You know, this card is so interesting to me because all the decks are different. This actually looks like the two of you have given up a burden. This is a mutual energy. You may have packed up and moved away a long distance. This looks like, you know, she came over the mountain. So the obstacles are the mountains. And it's look, you know, this is the energy that says that you've made it over the mountains. You have gone through something in the past that was challenging. Um, and it looks as though you bided your time. And that, you know, you're, you've released the burden. You're traveling lighter. You know, it looks as though there was some resistance, but we'll clarify that also. So let's see what Spirit is recommending for you, Aquarius, the Tower card. You need enlightenment. You need more of a foundation. 
when we see the tower card, we see this sort of the the lightning bolt, the strike, the the um, the energy that a sudden decision had to be made in in the course of action in your relationship. We're going to clarify once again in your outcome short term. Wow, Aquarius. This is Aquarius and um, this I consider this Aquarius energy, but it is Saturn. It is accomplishing something, a major goal in life that may have come out of the blue, that may be giving you what you want in terms of how you live your life. It may have required a very significant move for one or both of you. But your relationship was certainly tested. The foundation has been tested. But it looks as though you are you moved into or through this energy very successfully. So let's look at the clarifiers. This is a fascinating reading, Aquarius. This reading has been building for a year that you and a beloved person would make a tremendous change together. That it was, for the most part, planned by both of you not without challenges. So why do we have the hanged man here? Why is the hanged man? That's a wait and see attitude. It's not time to act on anything yet. It's, you know, looking for the signs. Seven of Cups energy says that uh, both of you have some options that you're keeping open. Spirit of Swords, though, is all about, that's your energy, Aquarius. Your energy says that you have clarity the person you're dealing with may not have clarity. The Seven of Cups is Scorpio energy. So it's going to, what we're seeing here is that you would definitely cut anybody out of your life that isn't going to be good for you. The turtle, like we get that turtle there, that hermit, slow moving night. Somebody who's very reliable though, the Wheel of Fortune. So it does look like there was a circumstance in your relationship that may have caused one of you to stay behind somewhere. Um, but the Seven of Cups is also having options in every every element of life, work life. This looks very work-related here with the King of Pentacles and the, the Hermit card and the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. So let's see why we have... Okay, and here you are. You're coming in as this abundance. This is you, Aquarius. You're very abundant. The Nine of Coins, Virgo energy. You've worked hard. You've done the work. You're in this end. Oh, wow, these two stuck together. So you're single, ready to mingle, very powerful as an individual, very much highly desirable as a single person. You're coming in with this Leo energy. You have the strength, the courage to get what you need, to manifest what you want. You're, you're really stepping forward in a very brave fashion, a very exciting, energetic fashion. Tell us what you need to accept here. What is in this reading that needs to be accepted? The unexpected. So the moon card is feeling insecure. The moon card is with, you know, what goes bump in the night. It's, it's really accepting that life is very uncertain, that your goals are uncertain. That, but you know, you're going to pursue them. You know, what is it? Dwayne Dyer said, it's a very famous inspirational speaker, was, um, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. And it looks like that's just what you've done. What are you resistant to here, Aquarius? Collaboration. A third party. Okay. So you're resistant to the idea of a third party or enter any kind of a work situation which would bring about a third party, but I don't usually read that as a third party, but you're resistant to the essence of collaboration. Your partner has it. Now that could be sharing money. It could be sharing bank accounts. Tell us more. Seven of Wands, yeah, you're, it looks as though the two of you may be talking about a joint bank accounts and that you're not really thinking that you're the relationship has developed that far. I do get the Spirit of Cups. I do get a d deep Scorpio King love that both of you share with one another. But that Gemini energy, there is something going on in the communication, how you're working together, the way you're collaborating. You're not quite ready for it. You feel like it's you haven't gotten to that point where you're ready to just throw caution to the winds. So we do see that you're putting a nice, you know, spin on it. You have fire in your belly. You both love each other. It's a very deep love. 
What do we have? Why else is a page of wands here? Two of wands. It looks as though your partner is very convinced that you're the one for them. It looks as though you may not be convinced that they're your forever person. So, you know, energies can be vice versa in a tarot reading. So leave something in the comments below to tell me uh, what you, you know, how you're experiencing this energy. Let's see, what else about this love? Well, you're working on it. You're, you know, you're in this energy of the eight of coins, that now you're at the nine of coins. So you're advancing Aquarius. Your person's a little bit behind you in their career success. It looks like they may be a little bit, you may be more prosperous in your career, more advanced in your career. The Two of Wands says it's time to make a decision. Both of you feel that. Moving forward rapidly, Eight of Wands to the Nine of Wands. So you had fire in your belly to do something together that was a little bit unexpected with that Tower card. The Ace of Swords, you have great clarity what you want. That The Ace of Swords is also the clarity to know when to hold them and when to fold them but also for new beginning. The Six of Cups is a reunion energy coming in here. So you may have been separated for a period of time. I think with the Seven of Cups, you might not have seen each other for a period of time with the Moon card, Six of Cups. There was some sort of uncertainty about this. But if I'm reading this right for a lot of people, it looks like there was a career change for you, Aquarius, is how I'm reading it. And it looks like that threw the relationship into some uncertainty. But look at that, your person sees you as a star. You may be uh, in the public view, you may be very well celebrated, your person feels like you are their best friend, you're lots of fun. They see you though as oh, their, their soulmate, that's how they view you, Aquarius. Your person, that's Gemini energy, you're very well spoken very verbal six of swords they moved they would move they would move for you so i do when i get the six of swords with this particular ten of wands not the others really so much but the indication is like packing up your bags and moving along and i like it it's a mutual energy between the two of you your person six is here very prominent we have the Six of Swords moving forward after a challenging period of time, investing in the relationship. The Six of Wands. Oh, my goodness. So Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Cups, soulmate energy, a win winner, winner, chicken dinner. Heart of Pentacles. Your person sees you as a person who is Capricorn, feminine, the queen energy. The Heart of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as very hardworking, someone who knows how to manifest, somebody who has a proven track record. They see you as a person who's willing to do the work and very much wants a grounded, uh, happy relationship. We also get the Queen and King of Pentacles, Divine Partners, building happiness with one another. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Show us what the challenges were in this situation. Oh, the Magician card. Well, what? see, that's what I thought. Magician card is that both of you manifested this move that came rather suddenly. That's how I'm going to read it. That's my, that's what I'm seeing. I just, um, it's just intuitively, that's how I'm reading this. I feel the movement of swords. You had to move very quickly. You had to make a decision very quickly. For manifestation, oh my God, manifesting the queen, the earth mother, the, v, the energy of Venus, the energy of deep love, that's manifesting along with the magician card. That's manifesting on the mundane, it's Taurus energy, you know, the Taurus energy here, doing the work, which is all that Saturnian energy, you've got to move up. There's something about this move that you made, Four of Swords. Now it does show that there could be a, it could be slow for you to go to the next level, the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords. It does say that it may take a little bit of effort. Oh my God. So the next four weeks, the way I'm going to read this Aquarius, and I want you to come back and tell me if this proves right. It looks as though whatever it is that you moved for has a very slow week for 
uh, a very slow four-week period of time in which it doesn't appear that you're manifesting what you want and you're feeling you know a little bit daunted by it of course it would be daunting if you made a move strategically four of cups you know feel the fear do it anyway you know accept the risk but the Four of Cups is feeling a little dissatisfied. Look at what we have here. We go from the Eight of Coins to the Nine of Coins to legacy, 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 wealth, abundant, legacy, marriage, having the courage to, and the fire in your belly to do the work, to take the risk. I have goose pimples. This is something that has been in progress for over a year for you, Aquarius. I am delighted with this reading for you. It took courage, courage, tenacity, and just absolute gutsiness to set out on this journey, not knowing necessarily if a partner or a lover would come and join you on this journey. And it looks like you have been absolutely victorious we see the cards of victory here you're still guarded it's okay you've got fire in your belly though and you are manifesting so sending you love from chicago i am videotaping this in chicago tell me where you're from watching it thanks so much everyone thanks for joining me have a great week Bye bye